Gutterman Group is a go. Oh. Yes! <laughs> Not just a startup, an upstart. <sighs> Gotta get going. Gotta be good. Good? Good. Growth is the goal. How do we do that? I talked to UPS. They'll help us out. New technology, smart advice. We focus on the business, and they take care of the logistics. UPS. Good going. We get good. That's great. 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 <laughs> I love logistics. Welcome to the first ever edition of Zips Weekly. I'm your host, David Suntup. All the fall sports are underway. Akron women's soccer opened up the preseason a couple weeks ago against Duquesne. And the Zips had a chance early on across into the box. Lonnie Smith goes for the header, but Devin Tabata denies it right there. And another opportunity, but the Zips can't convert. And that was the story of this game. Here's Lonnie Smith again in a diving stop by Tabata, the Duquesne goaltender. Another shot for Akron inside the box, but Duquesne there to clean it up. Akron had 17 shots, eight of them on goal. Here's Lonnie Smith again, and another save for Duquesne. Coach Croft instructing his team to get them into position. In the second half, another save by Duquesne, and here was the best chance of the night. Sarah Civic off the crossbar. Akron and Duquesne will play to a scoreless tie, 110 minutes of scoreless soccer, the lone preseason tune-up for the Zips before they headed to Pittsburgh for the Steel City Classic. And in Pittsburgh, Akron split a pair of games, a loss against the host school of the Steel City Classic, Pitt 3 to nothing. but the Zips bounced back with a 2-1 come-from-behind win over Robert Morris two days later. Lonnie Smith scored a goal, as did Holly Oradzanski, and the Zips were 1-1 in their weekend set in the Steel City Classic. The Zips welcome number four Virginia Tech to First Energy Stadium Cup Cadet Field for the home opener. The Zips trying to win two games in a row, but a tough task ahead against a very good Virginia Tech squad. There's Jenna Anderson playing some great defense against the potent Virginia Tech offense, but the Hokies struck in the 32nd minute. Candace Seifers off the header to give Virginia Tech a 1-0 lead. The Zips' defense was pesky, but Alani Johnson sneaks through and puts it home for the goal. 2-0 Virginia Tech late in the first half, 40th minute. Opportunity for the Zips, but that one blocked away by the Virginia Tech defense. Another chance in the box for Virginia Tech, but they can't put it through. And the final score, Akron loses this one 3 to nothing. The Zips drop to 1-2 and two after this game. Number 13, Akron kicked off the preseason against last year's runner-up in the second-ranked team, Maryland. And it was a tough one early on. The Terrapins scored three goals in an 11-minute span to take a 3 nothing lead in the first half. Akron just registered five shots, two of them on goal, as the Zips fell to the number two team in the country, 3 nothing in the preseason opener. But Akron had a chance to go into the regular season on a positive note. One more preseason tune-up against Syracuse. Akron and Syracuse won scoreless in the first half, but the Orange had an opportunity early on in the second half. 50th minute, Emil Ekblom puts it past Jake Fenlison for the goal, and Akron trails 1-0. The Zips struggled to score in the preseason, but 24 minutes later, Saad Abdul Salam with room on the right side, and he fires it into the back of the net in the 74th minute to tie the game at one apiece, the first goal of the preseason for the Zips. This one went back and forth late. Akron had a a couple of opportunities but couldn't put it past Alex Bono and then pick it up 90th minute Akron commits the foul and Syracuse was fast on the restart the orange with an opportunity Oyvind Allseth with the shot Jake Fenlison saves it but the rebound ricochets out to Nick Perea and he hammers it home for the game winning goal with three seconds left Akron drops this one to Syracuse 2-1 to one. a tough loss in the last minute of the game for the Zips as Akron wrapped up the pre season 0-2 before heading out west to take on number 5 New Mexico to kick off the regular season. New Mexico scored about three minutes into the game. Akron held tough, though. The defense faced 20 shots, nine on goal from New Mexico, while the Zips just had five shots, two of them on goal. Jake Fenlison made eight saves for the Zips. 
Akron women's volleyball started off the regular season in the Indiana State Holiday Inn Classic. The Zips split a pair of matches on Friday, taking down Chicago State in four sets, but then lost to the host school, Indiana State, in three sets. But Akron bounced back on Saturday. A three-set win over North Carolina a and 25-20 in the first set, 26-24 in the second set, and 25-16 in the third set. The Zips wrap up the weekend 2-1. Akron runs onto the field at InfoCision Stadium for the first time in 2014 hosting Howard. And here's a new president, Dr. Scarborough, out for the coin toss. And Akron gave him a lot to cheer about early on. Kyle pulled deep down the left side for LT Smith, and he's gone. A 57-yard touchdown that put the Zips up 7-0 a minute and a half into the game. But the offense was far from done. The defense helped lead to the offense. Greg McGee, short pass up the middle. Fumble there by Howard. Ball loose on the ground, and the Zips pick it up. It's C.J. Mizell with the fumble recovery. That gave the Zips first and goal from the nine-yard line, and they would cash in. Play action, Amani Davis in the end zone for the touchdown, and Akron takes a 14-0 lead just about three and a half minutes into the game. Here's special teams getting into the act. Amani Davis scored a touchdown a few minutes ago, now doing his damage in the return game. A huge hole up the middle. He motors into Howard territory, and that would set up the next Zips touchdown. Kyle Pohl with two touchdown passes in the first three and a half minutes, and make it three right here. Michael Trailer Bennett with the catch. And he dashes down the left sideline into the end zone. First career touchdown for Michael Trailer Bennett. And the Zips extend their lead to 21 0, just five and a half minutes into the game. Akron just had the ball for 58 seconds in that span. A 21 0 lead for Akron after 15 minutes. Pick it up in the second quarter, and the defense got the job done. Here's another opportunity for Akron, and a big play by the linebacker, C.J. Mizell. He's pumped up. Justin March in there as well. Then on offense, Kyle Pohl. No room to throw. He'll run it up the middle instead. A big gain there for the quarterback. Pohl led the way for the Zips on the ground. Seven carries for 48 yards with a long of 18. Here's Pohl again. Howard taking away the passing opportunity. So Kyle Pohl finds room on the right side. Picks up the first down. Smart play by the junior quarterback. The Akron offense got moving again in the third quarter. Kyle Pohl fading away. Keith Sconyers with a huge catch inside the five-yard line, and that would set up Jawan Chisholm. He motors into the end zone, bouncing off a of defender. First touchdown of 2014 for the running back. Later on in the third quarter, another long ball deep down the left side. Michael Trailer Bennett wide open inside the end zone. Second touchdown of the game. First two career touchdown catches for Michael Trailer Bennett. And Akron rolls to a 41-0 victory over Howard in the season opener. Terry Bowden was thrilled after the performance. Well, just, I mean, anytime you get a win, a good win like that, you're, you're, you're happy and you need to be happy. Um, there's time to critique the performance and, and, and look at the pluses and minuses, and, uh, and we'll do that. But uh, to uh, put 40, 41 points on the, on the board and, and shut the other team out uh, like we did, have no turnovers like we did, um, you, you've got to be positive. But that wraps up this edition of Zips Weekly. Next week, we'll take a look at Akron football's visit to Penn State. The cross-country team is home for the Tommy Evans Invitational on September 4th at 5.30. The Akron women's volleyball squad is back home for the Akron Invitational, and Akron women's soccer is at First Energy Stadium Cub Cadet Field to take on St. Bonaventure. I'm your host, David Sunsup. Thanks so much for watching.